Hello ladies, it is Tiffany of Clarity, Confidence, Courage, Women's Empowerment, and today I wanna to come to you to talk about identity. What do you want your identity to be? So many times I meet some amazing, incredible women who want to change their life, who wanna get better, who want to empower themselves to be stronger, more confident, but they don't quite know what that looks like. They don't quite have an understanding or even a picture in their mind of what type of identity they actually want to have. So in today's content, we are gonna talk about how to recreate yourself and truly create the identity, the new you, that you want to project and show to the world. But before we jump in, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, and comment below to let me know what you think about this video and make sure to share it with other women just like you. Now let's talk about this whole idea of identity. When you think about the word identity, it's who you are as a person. You know, if you live in the United States, perhaps you have a social security number, you have your name, your first and last name. Maybe you identify as a certain group, such as your ethnic group or your gender or your sexual orientation, or maybe you identify as a football player or a basketball player or a soccer player, or some type of sport or a violinist or some type of group that you associate with with extracurricular activities. The whole concept of identification is this idea that you're putting labels on yourself. You're giving the world an idea or an understanding of what type of person you may be. Now, of course, when it comes to identification, Everyone is different. There's so many ways that we can identify ourselves, even down to our hair color, our eye color, or our place of birth or origin. But when I talk about identification specifically for this video, I'm talking about how you see yourself overall, the type of woman that you wanna be. Do you want to be a confident executive? Do you want to be a confident, amazing stay-at-home mom? Do you want to be a confident, business entrepreneur, I mean, what do you see in your mind? I know when I was a kid, I would always look through business magazines and think to myself, wow, look at these women who are CEOs of these major companies. That could never be me. I literally would say to myself, I wonder what their life is like because I would fantasize about being that type of woman, a woman who owned her own company or was the head of her own business, a woman who was dynamic, a jet setter, someone who was powerful. I always saw those type of women and really respected them, but I never saw myself as one of them because I did not identify as one of those type of women. So when we talk about this concept of how you see yourself, it's really important to see yourself as the woman that you want to be. Now, of course, as I've gotten older and I own my own business and I've worked for corporations and I've taken leadership positions, of course, now I see myself as one of those women, a CEO of a company, a leader, a powerful speaker, a motivator, someone who is jet set, who is living a life that she loves. But that's because I decided to change my identity, to make sure that I created myself in a way that I wanted to project to the world and how I wanted to feel about my own life. So when you talk about this identity, the question that I have for you is, who do you want to be? I have so many one-on-one -on -one clients that come to me and say, Tiffany, I, you know, I want to be powerful. I want to be confident, but that's just not me. That's just not who I am. And I always say, well, why not? Why can't it be you? Why can't you make a decision to change your identity? Now, ladies, I'm not talking about in a spy movie where you change your name and change your where you live and go hide out in another country, but I am talking about starting to recreate yourself. And it doesn't have to be overnight. It can be slowly. Take your time. Start by asking yourself the important questions. What type of lifestyle do I wanna have? You know, when I talk about lifestyle, I mean, do I want to be jet set? Do I want to travel the world? Do I want to live in the country? Do I want to live in the city? Do I want to have, do you I know, want to be single? Do I want to be married? Do I want to be in a relationship? Do I want to just live my happy, joyful, single life? You know, if you have children, do you want to just focus on your children? Do you want to be a stay at home mom? Do you want to be an entrepreneur? Do you want to be a business owner? Or do you want to have it all? Do you want to have that time to have with your children, stay at home with them and own a business that is thriving, that you can have the money and the time to enjoy it. Ladies, at the end of the day, it's all about 
who and what you want to be and what you want to have. Your identity is completely up to you. But the first step is to start asking the important questions. And this goes back to self-awareness, really asking yourself who you are, who you want to be, and how you want to be projected to the world. Now, these are some of the questions that I have my clients asking in my new online program, The Five Keys to Magnetizing Confidence, where we talk about your identity, who you are, the brand that you want to project, how you want people to see you, how you want to feel about yourself. All of those questions dig deep into self-awareness, but it also digs deep into your identity and who you want to be. If you're interested in that program, make sure you click the link in the description to really look at the page and understand more about the program itself. Ladies, if you are ready to take that step to the next level, then this program is definitely for you. Not only is it gonna build up your confidence, but it's going to start helping you quickly identify where you are going on this path of life and who you wanna be and how you want to show up. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you can get all of my videos every single week. I upload two videos, two videos a week. So make sure you hit that notification bell and definitely share this with other women who are also trying to get a feel for who they are and who they want to be in the future. So I hope you like this video and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.